Good morning! I'm here at the Lawn Lake Trailhead inside the Rocky Mountain National Park and today I'm gonna go for Mount Tylston and Bighorn Mountain. They're both 11ers looking at about 10 miles total with over a 3,000 foot elevation gain. Starting here just past 630 and it should be a beautiful day today. That sky was so clear when I was driving in. Those stars were twinkling. It hadn't been like that in quite a while. We had kind of a windy day yesterday and it blew most of that smoke out. Basically, I'm going to hike five miles up the Lawn Lake Trail, four tenths of a mile before it connects with the Black Canyon Trail. I'm going to split off to the right, which would be kind of the east, and I'm going to start bushwhacking up the side of Mount Tylston. Made it up to the trail split, which means I'm 1.3 miles in. I'm going to keep it to the right and head over in the direction of Lawn Lake. This is only the second time that I've hiked on the Lawn Lake Trail. And this is the first time I've done it in this direction. The only other time was when I was coming down from the Mummy Mania hike, which was still the hardest hike that I've ever done. I didn't really do a good job on my video illustrating just how long and hard that was, but it was incredibly difficult. But yeah, it's a beautiful trail along here. Amazing. Colors are changing. It's really beautiful. This is blowing me away. I did not expect this. I didn't realize this trail had so many aspens on it. Hey, it's beautiful along here. Not only is this Lawn Lake Trail really beautiful, but it's relatively flat in spots. It's not like super straight uphill the whole time. You get these nice little sections of flat, which are just really pleasant to walk along. Kind of get your breath back, get a little rest, and then you go up a little more. Because it's definitely going up. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're going up, but it's just really nice. Made it up to the Cut Bank campsite. And if you're wanting to do Bighorn Mountain just on its own, this is where the book says you want to split off and start bushwhacking up. However, today, this is where I'm going to hopefully be coming down, somewhere in this area. I'm up here above 10,500 feet. And it looks like I've got another three, four tenths of a mile or so before I split off. And this isn't so bad. This trail's a little long, but it's pretty easy. That's looking up at Mount Tylston. And as you can see, that's a pretty nasty ridge. I basically need to stay on the trail for another two tenths of a mile or so. And then I'm gonna basically start at the bottom of that ridge and just hike it on up. Shouldn't be too hard. That's Mummy Mountain up there. Looking fierce. That's a tough one to get on top of. However, it's looking doable from right here. Less than 3,000 more vertical feet to the top of that one. But for right now, I've made it up to the little clearing here. And this is just over 10,700 feet. And this is where I'm going to split off. You can actually see the social trail right there along with the Karen. 
This is a little nasty through here. The trail back here is really faint, but it's back here. See it? Right here. That looks like the top of the ridge. So I'm going to head up right here, get on top of it, and see what the rest of it looks like. I'm still on the trail back here. I'm about ready to gain the ridge. That should be it right there. At the top of the ridge is this little pond. That's beautiful. Mummy Mountain is awesome. It's just that when I was up there I was so tired and it was so late in the day I hardly even remember it. If I hadn't done video up there pfft, it's like I wouldn't remember anything. But this little pond is beautiful up here. And now I'm just gonna keep heading on over here to the south and on up to the summit of Mount Tylston. I'm just over 10,900 feet. I believe the summit of Tylston is over 11,200. So that means I have just over 300 left. We finally got a blue sky again. Oh, I'm so happy about that. And I am loving this hike so far. This is really fun up here. The bushwhack was only congested there at the bottom. Once you get up here on the ridge, it's not too bad. That's the summit right out there. That's not too far at all. Alright folks, and in just over three hours, I'm up here to the summit of Mount Tylston. And that's looking over at Bighorn Mountain. I'm going to head over there next. That's a pretty big down and up section. And then once I'm up on the summit, I'm going to take it down that right side, back down to the trail. Beautiful shot of Ypsilon, Fairchild, and eggs. Looks like we got a register up here, so you know what that means. Boom. I'm gonna hit it with a card. Oops. Goodbye card. I've been sitting up here on the summit of Tylston for about 30 minutes or so. But I'm gonna start heading over to Bighorn Mountain. I'm working my way through the trees and I'm aiming directly for the saddle. And that's taking some looks at the GPS to stay on course. I keep wanting to head off to the right.
Definitely bring your GPS on this one. I mean, you could probably still do it without the GPS, but it's definitely helping me right now. I was wanting to cheat over to the west, when really I need to stay over here to the east and stay on these high points. You've got this other high point in between. So what I'm going to do right now is just take it straight on down and then just kind of go around that middle hump, try and keep it flat, and then on up to the summit. This is pretty gnarly through here. It's more difficult than the bushwhack up to Tileston, that's for sure. It's pretty tricky. That hump in the middle is what makes it difficult. Yeah, this is haggard through here. Look at this big old square rock sticking out of the ground. This is pretty rough back here. I'm still going down too. And then I'm just going to have to rock it up like 750 feet to the summit. After nearly an hour of bushwhacking, I'm finally down here to the last saddle at an elevation of about 10,675. The summit of Bighorn is over 11,400, so I've got quite a hike ahead of me. Just took a quick five minute break in the saddle. I'm getting ready for that final push up to the summit. And I'm looking at 800 more vertical feet in a half mile. Although Tileston and Bighorn are right next to each other and they look similar, and Bighorn's only 200 feet higher, let me tell you, these are two vastly different mountains. Bighorn is so much more difficult. That's looking back at Mount Tileston. My goodness, this is taking forever to get across this bushwhacking section. I just busted through some trees, literally, like, just rammed right through them. And it looks like this is the final section. About another 400 vertical feet or so. Summit, Big Horn
it's about 12:30. I've been sitting up here on the summit of Bighorn Mountain for probably over 30 minutes, but it's time to go. It's time to head on back. On this descent down the northwest slope, I'm aiming directly at Fairchild Mountain on the way down. I'm still aiming directly at Fairchild Mountain, and this is great. I'm managing to avoid all the trees somehow. I've dropped down to about 10,800 feet, and it looks like the trail intersects at 9,800 feet. So that means I've got a thousand more to go, straight down. And at the bottom of that rock slide, Looks like I've picked up another big section of rocks. Oh, this is fantastic. And once again, I'm staying perfectly lined up with Fairchild Mountain. I've only got three tenths of a mile left to the Lawn Lake Trail. However, I still need to drop over 800 vertical feet. I was able to ride the rocks down to about 10,500, but I'm back in the trees now. And I'm really glad I found that cairn up there by the rocks, that first one, because that got me started in the right direction. I don't want to jinx this, but I believe I'm nailing this trail on the way down. I mean, I've been pretty much out of the trees 99% of the time. It's been pretty open. It's just incredibly steep. Less than a tenth of a mile to the trail. And this is the worst part yet. I mean, this is like crazy steep. Whoa! That was almost a wipeout. Come on, trail. Where you at? I'm super close. My GPS is showing me like right on top of it. And whoop, there it is. Just made it back down to the Cut Bank campsite. Yep, there it is. I'm thinking that the Cut Bank campsite is a little over three miles from the trailhead. At two hours and 20 minutes, I'm back down to the Lawn Lake Trailhead. And that was a pretty serious hike. Looking at a total of 12 miles with right around a 3,500 foot elevation gain. That was a great hike. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, y'all, peace.